So, FIFA 22 is just 10 days away. We have my top 25 players rating predictions video. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Apparently this year, EA aren't doing a proper top 100 ratings reveal like in previous years. We're just getting certain clubs and certain players ratings over the next week and a half. So I thought I'd do my top 25 players ratings predictions. No, these aren't confirmed bar maybe one or two. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and what you think, who you agree with, who you disagree with and whatnot. Let me know down below and also subscribe to my second channel. I've been posting rating predictions on specific teams over there for the last about week and a half i've been doing premier league teams we're going to move on to different teams in different leagues from now on as well so make sure you subscribe in the link in the description i think it makes sense going 25 to 1 now 25 you've got a couple of 88 rated players sterling and mane it could be any 88 realistically i just put these in there because they came to mind i think mane will get a minus two because he's just not the mane that got that 90 rated card um we've seen so many games where Mane's failed to score or failed to hit the target in so many attempts and I just think that he will get a downgrade based on just his his lack of conversion I feel like with goals recently I think he's a victim of his own success he had such amazing seasons at Liverpool now that he's not having as amazing seasons at Liverpool I think that a downgrade will happen it's not his fault I don't think you know, he's just not in form right now. And I think that with players like Mane, when they have such an amazing season, it's so hard to live up to those standards consistently, um, as we've seen with other players in the past. And then Sterling, I think... Um, I don't think his season at Man City was necessarily amazing, but he had a great Euros, which I think is what will keep his rating. I think his uh, his standout Euros competition, um, the goals he scored in that Euros, I think will be what keeps him at 88 rated, despite... I wouldn't say he was 88 rated based on the league last year, but, you know, the Euros definitely helps it. I think EA like to look at recency as well when they, when they look at ratings, so a Euros tournament will be massive for certain players um, that had great sort of standout Euros tournaments. Next up, we have got uh, the ex-Dortmund duo, in uh, Haaland and Sancho. So Haaland, I think, is leaked to be 88 rated. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether he will be or not, but he is leaked to be 88 rated. Um, so my prediction's pretty bang on the money there. And then with Sancho, I think he'll get a plus one. I think he got 20 goals slash assists last year, um, and he did well in the Champions League as well. I do think that he will get a plus one. I think 88 is a bit high rated for Sancho. And don't get me wrong, I am a Man United fan, but I think this is a bit higher than he should be. But typically, EA don't go off every season you know last season does he deserve to be this rated if he's 87 and he was deserving of an upgrade slash had an up a season where you know he could get a plus one in this card they'll give him one as opposed to you know say oh whilst he got a, had a decent season he's maybe only 86 worthy so 86 material does, it, does that make sense um i also think with sancho he has stored, started quite poorly for the league um he has i can't i can't deny it. he's really not done a whole lot in a man united shirt yet but i think he'll you know he'll come through i think he'll show some good potential um and a move to man united in previous fifas has given players a higher rate of card that's just how ea are they like to give big premier league clubs big ratings and talking about big ratings uh ingolo kante i think deserves a plus one um now there are arguments i would say for a plus two but ingolo kante's highest ever base card is 89 and i don't think last season was good enough for him to get his highest ever base card in a 90 he's had better seasons in my opinion but he had a good season and especially a pretty good uh champions league campaign run there were shouts of angolo getting ballon d'or in my Humble opinion, I think Messi deserves a Ballon d'Or, and I'm a Ronaldo fanboy, but I think Messi deserves a Ballon d'Or this year. I don't think that N'Golo Kante uh, had a good enough campaign in both the Premier League or the Champions League or the Euros to deserve a Ballon d'Or, but I think he's had a, a good enough season to get an 89 rated card. I don't think he should have been 88 regardless, to be honest. I think 89's always been a fair rating for Kante. And then we have Casemiro, who I think will also be an 89 rated card. He's a very good uh, defensive midfielder for Real Madrid. And also in the Copper, uh, he was very good in that tournament for Brazil as well. Uh, in the Copper America, I think he was very good for Brazil. Um, him and Fred... The, like they actually were very good together like it surprises me that i say that about fred but fred was actually good in the euros i'm sorry the copper america excuse me the copper america he was very good in the copper america i mean he was non-existent in the euros so downgrade him immediately next up i've got van dyke and son now son's card has actually been confirmed today i'll put a picture on screen of son's confirmed card but i will show you my uh prediction so i predict him 89 and he was obviously confirmed 89 uh van dyke i'm predicting at 89 as well not that i think van dyke has any less ability than last season but usually when players are out for a long period of time with an injury especially whole season injuries like van dyke's was ea have downgraded them in the past so i've used that as a precedent 
for a downgrade for Van Dijk. It also fits my agenda. Um, but I, I think Van Dijk is still the best centre-back in the world. I don't think that's changed at all. I think that he's come back and he's still putting good performances for Liverpool. However, I just think with EA's previous history with uh, ratings, they've given players like Van Dijk a big downgrade. And I can see that happening again this year with Virgil Van Dijk. So I've given him an 89 rated card. I think Hyun Min Son had a very good season last year. I've given him a 90 rated card. That's what I think he deserves. Uh, sorry, an 89 rated card in my opinion. I think is what, that's what he deserves. And we've had his card revealed and it is an 89 rated card. Now, the main thing about Son is apparently he is five star five star which is mind-blowing that card is going to be absolutely ridiculous in fever 22 having a five star five star player in the premier league is very very exciting and i think um son will be five star five star so i'm very excited to see what he's like you know next year that should be a very interesting card and we're only 10 days away we're in goalkeeper season next and we've got to stegen and courtois now i had a little bit of help uh with a few friends that watch la liga because i'm not the biggest la liga fan i cannot lie to you um so i had a little bit of help from a few uh friends that watch la liga and they both said they think to stegen is as a downgrade and courtois courtois an upgrade they think courtois has been one of the better goalkeepers in the league last year and to stegen maybe dropped off a little bit and that's fair enough so that's where we're at with this one i have really nothing to add here um bar that you know i've had some some help from some friends because like i can't lie to you i'm not the I watch a lot of Premier League games and I watch Champions League, but I, I haven't really watched a whole lot of other leagues unless they're on BT Sport and I'm bored because in the UK, unless you're watching it on streams or the odd games on BT Sport, games from other leagues don't typically get shown that much. So I don't typically go out on my way to watch them. Um, so yeah, for the odd player here or there, I will have had help from some people um, with the ratings. Uh, so if they are wrong, take it up with them, all right? Not me. Leave me out of this. It really is goalkeeper season. We've got Neuer and Edison. I think Edison deserves to be a 90-rated goalkeeper. I think he deserves to be joint highest in the Premier League. I think he's a very good goalkeeper. His distribution's fantastic. And I think that he's had a very good season for Man City, winning the Premier League, getting to a Champions League final. And then with Neuer, I think the same thing counts with Neuer. I think he's had a very good season uh in general i think he's a great goalkeeper still one of the best in the league uh sorry in the world let alone the league he's the best in his league but i think he's one of the best in the world um and i think a, a plus one is definitely fair for neuer he's just a class goalkeeper every time i've watched neuer he's just been absolutely class and i think that you know despite the games against psg and whatnot i think he put in some great performances um i think he's a very good goalkeeper 13 and 12 now we have got kimmich and benzema now kimmich i think deserves a 90 rated card from what i've seen of kimmich i just think he's a fantastic player he's he's in my opinion just amazing amazing on the park i think he's class i think you know he can play in a lot of different positions he's very versatile i think that he's just a very very good player and he has been now for years and i think that a 90 rated card is definitely fair i can see him being 89 but i would like to see him be 90 rated i think it'd be fun as well just seeing some different players get higher rated cards something i like about new fifas is just it being fresh and different and i know that might sound really silly because a lot of you that are big football fans will watch and think well this guy doesn't deserve a higher rated card or this guy doesn't deserve a downgrade for me I'm a big FIFA fan as well as a football fan. So despite certain players maybe not deserving an upgrade or a downgrade, for me, because it's fresh, it's different, it's new, and there's new players to try out, I love it from a FIFA standpoint. You know, when when you're thinking about football is, yeah, I get, I get annoyed sometimes, if, especially if it's someone from my favorite team or one of my favorite players. But it's also just fresh and new, and it makes it fun, I think, every year. It's why getting a new FIFA every year is a lot of fun because of how different and fresh it is. I didn't even talk about Benzema, but Benzema, I think, is just a, a classy, classy striker slash centre forward. I just think that he's a, a great player. He's been good for France recently as well. Uh, I thought he was decent in the Euros, uh, despite France getting knocked out unexpectedly. Um, and I think that for Real Madrid, he's just been, I think, an underrated player. Uh, you know number nine i think that he's just a good player in general and i like benzema a lot i think he's quite underrated by a lot of football fans moving into the top 10 now we have got 11th and 10th place we've got allison at 90 personally do not see a reason to downgrade him he had one uh poor set of about three games in the whole season and i think he was very good elsewhere and remember if it wasn't for allison liverpool would not have got top four as well that header, I know he's a goalkeeper, he's not a goal scorer, it's not his job, but he still scored the goal that pretty much kept Liverpool in the top four this season, so, or last season, should I say. So I think Alisson's deserving of being a 90-rated player. I don't see why he deserves a downgrade, in my personal opinion. And then Harry Kane, I think an upgrade to 90 is overdue. I think that he should have been 90 or at least 89 last year. I thought 88 was a bit unfair on Kane last year. So I think a 90-rated card is definitely fair. He's put up the most goals and assists in the Premier League last year. He's been winning golden boots for Fulham over the last decade. He's just been a quality striker. Striker. And I think sometimes because he plays with Spurs, he gets overlooked. 
he is definitely top three strikers in the world this year, in my opinion. I think that he's a phenomenal player, uh, and I think that he definitely deserves a 90 rated card. I am fully expecting all um, the comments for this one. Right, I wanted one. One player of my own in this one. And I'll explain why I wanted one player in a moment when we get to the, the next few ratings. But I've given Fernandez a 90 rated card. He's one of my favorite players in the world. And, I, and it's my prediction. I, c I, can, I can give him a 90 rated card. But not only that, I think Fernandez over the last season and the last year has been good enough to warrant at least an 89 let alone a 90. I think he's been fantastic. I think that he's been great for Manchester United. He's he's honestly changed that United team a lot. And I'm, I'm, I think he's a fantastic player and I absolutely love him as a player. I think he's great. Uh, and in my opinion, he's definitely deserving of a big upgrade. Whether it be 89 or 90, I don't know. Uh, but I've given it a, a 90 rated card because I'm a little bit biased or a lot biased, depending on who you ask. Um, and I also, it's my prediction, so I can do it. But also, I think it'd be great. I think it'd be a lot of fun to give him a night rate card as well. I just think that he would be so good in FIFA. And then De Bruyne, I've kept it at 91. He had a lot of injuries last year. Kept him out for pretty much half a season. Um, so I don't think he'll get upgraded based on that. But I don't think he'll get downgraded either. I think 91's pretty fair for De Bruyne. Uh, given as he actually played quite a few games, uh, unlike other players that have been injured for a whole season, I think he will retain his 91 rating. And he's still easily the best attacking midfielder or, or pretty much midfielder in the world um i even hold my hands up and say he's better than bruno despite bruno's recent form over the last year um so yeah i think that that 91 for de bruyne is definitely fair now this one i might get a little bit of stick for this is one of my non-biased outside throws i guess or outside punts i've gone with salah at 91 i think salah over the last four years has been incredibly consistent for liverpool and i think a plus one is fair given the last season he pretty much put liverpool on his back in a few games um and if it wasn't for salah and Allison, I don't think Liverpool will get top four. I just think that he is a world-class winger. And I think a 91 is definitely fair for the last few years of consistency and goal scoring uh, from Mohamed Salah. Can see him still being a 90, but I would like to see him get a plus one, uh, mainly because I do think he deserves it. But EA are harsh in that sense as well, so he might get a 90 rated card still. Then Old Black, I've left it at 91. Still best goalkeeper in the world, I'd say just keep him at 91. I think that's pretty fair. Just a flat 91 rated card. Neymar and Mbappé's now. Now, Mbappé's actually had a confirmed 91 rated card with confirmed stats. I'll put that on the screen now. Um, he is 100% locked in at 91 rated um, and his card looks unreal. I think it will be one of the best cards in the whole game. He looks absolutely nuts. Wow. Um, so Neymar and Mbappe are pretty much confirmed as, uh, you know, I'd say Mbappe is, pretty, Mbappe is confirmed. But I'd say Neymar is pretty much confirmed. I can't see EA downgrading Neymar if they're giving Mbappe an upgrade. And I don't think he'll be higher than 91. Um, so I think Neymar and Mbappe, 91, uh, a great duo. Mbappe is going to be so unreal next year. It's going to be absolutely ludicrous. I cannot wait to use that card. And Neymar is great every year. So that duo... Woo, it's going to be spicy again. Now, the reason why I gave Bruno a 90 card is for this exact reason. So Lewandowski and Ronaldo. I've given Lewandowski a 92 rated card and I've kept Ronaldo at 92. However, apparently the leaks are that Lewandowski is 92. So my prediction was correct. But apparently the leaks are that Ronaldo is 91 rated, which is why I don't feel bad about being biased about Bruno. I don't put like I agree that Lewandowski's had the better probably last three seasons than Ronaldo. And I, I, I would happily sit there and say he deserves to be 92 rated. For me, it's not about Lewandowski being the better player or having the better seasons. Ronaldo hasn't done anything wrong to deserve a downgrade, in my opinion, bar the fact that he's getting old. But as proven on Saturday, yesterday, Ronaldo being 36 hasn't stopped him scoring in the Premier League, the most competitive league in the world. It isn't going to stop him this year. I don't think that age should be the reason he gets downgraded. He still got the golden boot in his league last year and the golden boot in the Euros um, during the summer. I think both of them at 92 would be fair. Now, I understand why people will say that Lewandowski deserves to be higher rated and whatnot. Make Lewandowski 93 then. I just don't see why Ronaldo deserves a downgrade. Personally, I don't think it's fair. Um, that's my personal opinion. Again, I'm a Man United fan, so you know it's understandable why I might come to that conclusion given the fact that he's re-signed for Man United. But I think Ronaldo at 92 would be fair. I think it's a bit unjustified to give him a downgrade based on age alone. But Lewandowski, unreal season, 41 goals in the league last year, deserves to be at least 92, maybe even higher than that. And the rumours have it that he is 92 rated with Ronaldo 91 rated. And the main man, Leo Messi, being the highest rated card in FIFA for another year as he deserves. I think he will get the Ballon d'Or as well. Um, now, it was confirmed today that he's 93 rated and I think confirmed he had 95 dribbling in a little teaser trailer EA posted. So this is the uh, the card that I think he'll be getting um, in FIFA 22, a 93 rated card. I 
put him down as a centre forward, could be a right winger, would actually be a little bit more helpful if he's a right winger for the left wing Neymar, striker Mbappe, right wing Messi, custom tactics for one two one two in game or something like that. Have have Messi's account in behind Neymar and Mbappe. That'd be class. Um, but yeah, I think Mbappe. Sorry, I think Messi is. Well, I don't think. I know he's the highest rated card in the game, pretty much. Um, or at least he'll be joint if for some reason the leaks aren't true and Lewandowski's got ninety three rated cards. I don't think he has, but we'll see. Um, but I, you know, he deserves a ninety three rated card. He deserves to be the highest rated card in FIFA. He's the best player in the world. Um, but that concludes my top twenty five ratings predictions. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, who you agree and disagree with. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.